grand rising on this beautiful hump day, ladies and gentlemen. As you're coming into the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. By the way, turn your notifications on as well. But like I said, make sure you stay tuned at the end of this very video. You don't want to miss this. Now, today's video, we're going to talk about moving in silence. Because so many people out here think that you are losing, but you actually, you are winning. Yeah, with that being said, let's get it. Move in silence. They really think that you are losing, but you really are winning. Folks, let me tell you something. These idiots out here think that you are losing, but you actually, you are winning. But let me tell you something. When you got people trying to compete with you, that's when you know they're so worried about you. They are so sophisticated with you in your life. Y'all successful finna hit these people like Shawn Michaels. Y'all successful finna get them that sweet chain music. Understand where I'm about to come from right now. Understand the words that are coming out of my mouth right now. Y'all successful finna punch them right in the mouth. Spiritually. Because so many people thought that you were losing. So many people out here post their accomplishments on social media. Look what I got. Look what I got. I got me a new car. I got me a new house. Da, 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 da. But you, you keep it humble. You keep it low key. They got some brand new clothes. They want to show it off. But behind them gear, behind them clothes, all they really claim. I'm talking about that body that is. Anybody can wear fresh new clothes. But behind them clothes, all they 100% hygiene, fresh and clean. So, I mean, excuse me, all they 100% so fresh, so clean. Because anybody, like I said, could wear new gear and still be dirty. But when you wear it, you make the outfit look good. The man make the clothes. The clothes don't make the man, if you ever heard that saying before. But when they see you with your brand new gear, they want to outdress you. They want to do everything that you are doing. When you step into the room, they try to walk into the room just like you. But when they walk into the room, nobody don't notice in them. But when you walk into the room, shh, y'all, y'all shut the hell up. Shh, be quiet. The chosen ones in the building. Everybody stop what they doing and looking at you. They so in their feelings. They so caring. They so concerned about you. It's not even funny. But you're not concerned about them, though. You walk into the room humble. Everybody staring at you, but guess what? You're not staring at them, though. Because you're moving in silence. People don't know your next move. People don't know what you got going on. But here it is. They want to be in all of your business. <coughs> Excuse me. They want to know what makes you angry, what makes you tick. And this is what happens when you're moving in silence. People want to know all your business. People want to interview you like you on 106 and Park back in the early 2000s. They want to act like they Adrian free because you act because you move so much in silence. You keep everything to yourself. But you vent the guy. You don't vent the people. People want to sit down and interview you like they on TRL. They want to take it back to the 2000s and the late 90s. People looking at y'all like y'all celebrities out here. That's why you got random people asking you these stupid doggone questions. They ain't got nothing to do with them. Not knowing doggone where they need to stay in their lane. You driving in your lane. Here they is trying to swerve in your lane. Get your behind over in your lane. And stop worrying about what other people are doing. But no. Your life is so entertaining to them. Your life is so unpredictable. They can't believe that you are here doing a doggone thing. Now they're asking you questions. How you do that there? Like the song. How you do that there, man? Don't even tell them. Keep on moving in silence. Because you got so many nosy people out here today. It's not even funny. But these are the same clowns that try to clown y'all because you ain't have a certain type of car that you wanted. You were living in that one bedroom apartment, but guess what? You move into a brand new house or a brand new mansion. And if you haven't yet, guess what? It is coming. It is coming, ladies and gentlemen. So don't you worry about nobody, what they are saying. 
Let them assume. Let them make an a-hole out of themselves. Because people that assume, they'll be the quickest one to make a out of themselves. Understand where I'm coming from. But I'm telling you all right now. Let people assume what they want to assume. Let them think what they want to think. People walk around here trying to wear flashy jewelry, trying to outshine you. But guess what? It's inside of you, not on you. People got to wear freight jewelry just to make it seem like it's real. Trying to compete with you. Trying to keep tabs on you. But guess what? You still walk into the room and you still shining. Brighter than the 24 karat diamond. Now that's something money cannot buy. That potential inside of you. Money can't buy that. You understand me? It cannot buy it. So let these idiots out here trying to compete with you. Wearing these big diamonds in their ears. Making a fool out of themselves. Wearing all these diamonds. Guess what? And they still unhappy. And they still jealous of you. Because you know why? You are moving in silence. You are not telling everybody your next move. You aren't supposed to tell everybody your next move. You do not supposed to tell everybody your blessings. Keep your blessings to yourself. And I think I made a video about this about two days ago. Keep your blessings to yourself. People will not be happy for you. But when you're moving in silence, people want to know everything about you. They want to know your name, your age, your date of birth. They want to know what's your favorite food and all this and that. I'm telling y'all, people are looking at y'all like celebrities. People are acting like you're on 106 and Park or TRL or something. Because everybody starting to admire your lifestyle. They say, hmm, I wonder what makes him so special? What makes her so special? What makes him so special? They're rubbing their little finger on their chin, trying to figure you out. Stun you. they sweating you. I'm talking about they swing you so bad, sweat dripping off their forehead by staring at you because they admire you, but at the same time, they want to be just like you. Have you ever met somebody just trying to compete with somebody and be worried about somebody? But if you did, guess what? You ain't stunning them. They too busy swearing you and stunning you, but when you're moving in silence, when you are the elephant in the room, everybody stop what they're doing, like I said, and start staring at you. Y'all shut up, shut up, shut the hell up. Look at him, look at her. But let them step into the room. Do other people do that? No, because you know why? They're not moving in silence. Because they're so busy to pop off at the mouth. They're so busy to tell other people their business. And I know doggone well, the same person that they told it to, going back telling everybody what they had said. But you know, you street smart. You book smart. You know how people are. You know not to tell everybody your business. Unless above the man, above them clouds, or people that you really, really trust. But other than these flying gorillas or these flying monkeys, you ain't gonna tell them nothing. They so busy, got that microphone. Tell me about yourself. And you just like, uh, get, get that mic out of my face. Or you just humbly say to the mic. It ain't none of your business. And then give it back right to them. And don't you know, people like that be so doggone stupid. They be looking stupid in the face. Because you know why? They really thought you are going to give them an answer. Sir, tell me about yourself. Uh, yeah. None of your business. That's about myself. And just drop it right in front of their face. And be like, oh my goodness. No, he didn't. Chai, yes, he did. He told your stinky rhyme behind. She told your stinky rhyme ass. It ain't none of your business. You see, when you move in that silence, people want to know this and that about you. See, when people roll in crowds, they know everything about each other. But when you walk alone, these people in these so-called wanna-be cool crowds, now they worrying about you. Now they're talking about you 24-7 of the day. They ain't even talking about you in their sleep. They snoring. Your name is all in their mouth. Even in their bed when they sleep. They dreaming about you. Then when you wake up, you're on their mind. Y'all are living through these people's heads right now. 
because you moving in silence, you low key, you keep it humble. They don't know if you broke or you're rich. They don't know if you got money or not, but it ain't none of their business. Because behind the scenes, you are blessed and highly favored. You just got yourself a new car. Stay with me now. Somebody out there that I'm talking to right now, directly in front of this camera, somebody got a new car, a new apartment, a new house. Your YouTube channel just blew up. Your podcast that's not finna blow up. Somebody out there that's received a blessing. Now you got these idiots, or should I say the flying gorillas, all in your 401k. They want to know what you are doing. What's your occupation? Like I said, they got the mic. They TMZ wannabes. Uh, excuse me, sir. We got a couple of questions to ask you. Uh, excuse me. We got a couple of questions to ask you. They nosy. I know they curious. The monkey, a.k.a. George, whatever his name is, Curious George. I don't think he that doggone curious. But these people, like I said, the flying monkeys, they are so curious. And you start looking at them. Why are you so worried about me? Then you giving them the rock eyebrow. Why are you so worried about me? You tell them. Well, no, let me take that back. Don't tell them nothing. Zip your lips. Don't say nothing. Y'all just let y'all blessings do the talking. And let that, like The Rock said, you let that candy asses think what they want to think. You let people assume what they want to think. They already swearing you, so guess what? If they want to watch your social media, hey, you got a couple of fans. A lot of people out here, they hate your guts, but they watching your content. Listen now. They watching your content, but they can't stand your freaking guts. So when you step into the room, shh, shh, y'all shut the hell up. Be quiet. They stop and stare at you. Because you know why? They are monitoring you. They watching you. They admire your lifestyle. They so busy on your jock right now. Because you're moving in silence. But when you don't move in silence, people are not going to care about you. But when you're doing your own thing out here, oh, they care now. Oh, they want to be your friend. They want to be your buddy. They want to be your boyfriend. They want to be your girlfriend now. But back then, they were saying you was a loser. But these people behind the scenes, they are losing out here. Because you know why? Losers worry about what other people got going on. Because the other people are winning. And they're not focusing on them. They're focusing on you right now. Like I said, they are losers. Put up the L one time. Losers. Losers worry about winners. Winners worry about winning. Y'all winning right now. And you wonder why so many people all up in your business. They putting their nose where they don't belong. Because they're sophisticated with your lifestyle. I see when you moving in silence or when you being silenced around other people. When you keep your mouth shut around other people. It intimidates people. Your success behind the scenes got people curious about you. Like I said, it's giving them the Shawn Michael vibes. Your success is finna get on the sweet chain music. It just ratty. Hitting them and hitting them and hitting them and hitting them, them. Because they so focused on you. They want to know. How did he get that? How'd she get that? I want to know. They want to know how you got that body in the gym uh duh you worked out but they too lazy to do that though they crashing they are doing that they want to get in shape ladies they want to have a body they want to have a butt behind there that's like yours but guess what they don't want to do it because you know why they are lazy but they're sitting right there calling you this calling you that oh she just got a bbl oh she just got plastic surgery no she didn't she got her behind in the gym. Now look at them curves. Look at that body. And she just mad because she ain't got nothing to work with. But you ladies, my real queens out there, y'all not jealous, y'all not hating. But guess what? They hating on y'all though. Y'all going out there and y'all showing them what you're working with. But can they do that though? Nope, because you know why? They're too busy worrying about you. But if they can get off they behind and mind their own business and maybe they get in the gym and worked out 
then they'll get a body that's like yours. But until that day, that they want to be nosy and so sophisticated on your life, let me tell you something. They will never ever achieve the, excuse me, they will never ever achieve the accomplishments that you have achieved it. I mean, excuse me, have received it. Because even though people are so worried about you, even though they got more than you, guess what? They still going to be jealous of you because you showing these people or what they need to be doing. Y'all are like a walking mirror on legs. Every time they look at you, they see themselves. This is what you should be doing. If the mirror can talk, if that mirror of yours can talk. Oh, as a matter of fact, let's go a little bit more deeper. If that mirror on the wall can talk, that mirror will say, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that. I guess that's why so many people out here so afraid to look that reflection in the mirror. Because guess what they see? A failure. They see a loser. Because they know they're talking about people. They're being nosy. But when you look into the mirror, the mirror shines. Because you're not hating on nobody. You're not out here competing with folks. You're not out here so busy trying to worry about what other people got going on, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all are cut from a different type of cloth, you understand? But these losers, hmm, they are cut from a certain type of cloth, and I don't know what it is, and I don't want to know. But at the same freaking time, every time you look into the mirror, they see a failure. <coughs> but when you look into the mirror, you see greatness. They see failure. See, y'all are not the same out here. Y'all are completely, completely different out here. So, if they think what they want to think about you, let them assume. Let them make an a-hole out of themselves. And they sitting up here trying to get other people to turn against you because you out here doing your thing. Hey, let them embarrass their own selves. But at the same time, when you out here moving in silence, when you moving in silence, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. When you out here moving in silence, it made people curious about you. It made people wonder, why is he so special? Who he think he is? Who she thinks she is? Well, let me tell you this. You are a chosen one. You are a spiritual warrior. And guess what? They are mad because you have focus on your life and on your goals and your achievements. But at the same freaking time, y'all, these fools... These flying monkeys, or shall I say the flying gorillas, will never ever achieve the things that you have achieved. But when you move in silence and worry about your own self, that's when you do it. But unlike them, not so much. That's why they are mad at you, fellas, because you got that six pack. Your body looking tough. You got that on the type of body. But they walk around here all skin and bones, hating on you because maybe you can snatch that girl if you wanted to. But you're not about that life. You're not even stunning him or his woman. But guess what? She's so worried about you, fellas. Because you are moving in silence. And don't you know, women like that. When you are moving in silence and you're not worried about nobody, guess what? It make women curious about you. But what these guys out here... Trying to compete with other dudes. Got the big mouth. That's a turn off for them. Agree with me, ladies. But, fellas, when you out here doing your own thing, you're not competing with nobody but your own self. You compete with the man in the mirror. Same thing with you too, ladies. When you out here competing with the woman in the mirror and make other men curious about you. If you're a woman watching this. But if, you, if you're a man watching this, it make other women curious about you. And it makes some people insecure because they want to be just like you. They're too busy yapping off at the mouth, telling other folks their business. But with you though, you're on a whole nother different level. You're higher than a rocket. You're higher than a bird. As a matter of fact, you're higher than an eagle right now. So let them think what they want to think about you. If they say you are losing... Hey, be a loser in that book. Let them think that you're the bad guy or the bad woman. Let them paint this picture of you of a bad guy or a bad woman. But guess what? God knows who you are. 
So don't even sweat that. Don't even worry about them. God know who you are. And God knows that you are a winner. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have reached to the end of this very video, I highly appreciate each and every last one of you. Salute, much respect. Oh, and by the way, if you got Instagram, follow me on Instagram. If you got a TikTok, follow me on TikTok. It's at the description below of the video of the YouTube channel, by the way. So, if you got a TikTok, if you got an Instagram, follow me and I will follow you back. But make sure you look into the link description up below. So with that being said, God bless. Y'all be safe out there. Salute and remember. Let people assume what they want to assume about you. When you move in that silence, people are going to talk. They're going to be intimidated. They're going to be afraid. But at the same time, you're not sweating them. They are sweating you. Don't worry about what they are saying. They're mad because you are winning and they are losing. Continue to win. And you're going to win for a lifetime. And they are going to lose for a lifetime. So yeah, continue to win. Remember, you are a winner. You are a leader.